Uzi Weta. Hey beard lovers, so when I uploaded that video on Wednesday with no links and no annotations leaving you free to do whatever you want, I discovered that you guys didn't know what to do. I guess you guys need a little guidance. Did somebody I say guy dance? No, I said guidance. Though, we could all use a little guy dance once in a while. That's why boy bands are so popular. What? So I decided today I would give you some advice. You have clamps with talking horses on them? That's awesome! No, not ed vice advice. So I asked you on Facebook and Twitter what advice you needed, and uh, you gave me plenty to work with. A number of you had some very specific problems about situations in your life, and a number of you had some motivation problems. So I decided I would take all your questions and narrow them down into one simple question. Class. One simple question from... Ah! One simple question from Kristen Franklin or Bombs Fade Away. What should I do with my life? See? Simple. Not simple at all. Now, there are a number of ways you can take this question. I would say since life is long and oblong shaped, I would stack it underneath your other board games like Catan, which is a square, smaller box. But you may want to reserve a special place for your life alone if you play it more than other games like Catan. But why would you play it more than Catan? You need to reevaluate your life and Catan. But if you're not referring to the game of life, then you're probably referring to life itself. And in order to find out what to do with it, we first need to define it. Boring history professor clone? Life is a characteristic that distinguishes objects that have signaling and self-sustaining processes from those that do not. Great. Could you maybe use some examples or fun anecdotes to help them understand? No. Do you care that they understand? No. Are you listening to me at all? Yep. Oh. I bet you're really fun at parties. No. Well, that didn't help at all. So, life. It's this thing that we're given. We didn't even ask for it. But we get it for, on average, like 70 years, so we should probably be thankful. The mosquito fish only lasts one to three years, and the mayfly? A day. A friggin' day! And what if that day were a Monday? Ugh, Mondays! But the entire function of an adult mayfly is reproduction, so... Their whole life. The life of a mayfly is short, but at least they know the answer to Kristen's question. They know what to do with their life, no matter how nasty that is. Nasty. We humans have a harder time figuring out that answer. I mean, a lot of people's answer is the same as the mayfly's answer, but those people are a little bit gross. There is no one perfect answer, but I do know that there's a time limit Life will end, so I can answer questions like this. I want to be an actress, but I feel like doubt keeps getting in my way. What do I do? Try it. Is there more to life if you make more? Should I create a product I've been sitting on for a while? Yes, unless you've literally been sitting on it, then it might smell like butt. You might want to wash it off first. But how are you sitting on it if you haven't created it yet? That's a question for another day or never. I have stuff to do and YouTube videos to watch. Which takes precedence? Well, you should watch Wheezy Waiter and Wheezy News and then do stuff. Wheezy, what can I do to get some artistic inspiration? Well, I've said in a previous video that inspiration does doesn't exist. The best way to get yourself to do stuff is to do stuff. By that I mean if you're not feeling inspired, sometimes doing stuff just will make you get inspired to do more stuff. And doing stuff will make you better at doing that stuff and probably make you want to do more of it. Do stuff. I'm in college and I have been having a hard time deciding whether I should prioritize knowledge over health or vice versa. That's a tough one actually. I don't know what a versa is, but I'd help you vice it if I had a vice. Did you hand out vices yet? I was never handing out vices. On the one hand, knowledge will enrich your life, and on the other hand, health will lengthen your life. But you're forgetting a couple other priorities over the long term. Work and fun. Hang on, I'm figuring something out. Alright, so there are four categories. Knowledge, health, fun, and work. And I think the overall goal is to maximize fun without compromising health. Too much. If I want another burger, I'm gonna have another burger! To be healthy, you're gonna need money so you can have a roof over your head and afford food, so you're gonna have to work. But work can reduce fun, and in some cases, health. Like, I used to work in a video store, and robbers would come in all the time and violently steal candy. By robbers, I mean me. And by video store, I mean everywhere I work. So to get a good job that you actually have fun at, you're gonna need knowledge. And then you can get a fun job, and then your day is filled with fun. And then, you are happy. Now, I don't know each individual situation, and none of these things are easy, but I think, Kristen, that's your answer. Gain knowledge so you can fill your days with fun. It also might help to go to a masseuse on a regular basis. That feels so good. Next question. What kind of beer should I drink tonight? Pilsner. Nice change of pace. You've been drinking too much of that hoppy stuff, Ryan.